you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over what you should be doing in Madden right now. So we have an updated checklist. So what that means is that typically in MUD, to stay up to date with the best of money spent ways and like... Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over what you should be doing in Madden right now. You guys tend to love this kind of video, so I bring it to you guys about once a week on updating you guys what you should be doing, like, to stay up to date. So, typically in Madden, we have certain solos, objectives, and things that we should be following on a daily basis that help us grind towards a larger goal. So, with the way that they've incorporated now Team of the Week, we have more certain things that we should be doing on a weekly basis that if you miss out on even one, it could mess you up weeks down the line. And as much as it might, not, it might sound dumb right now, you want to stay on top, top of all this because if you do not, you will be missing out on great rewards later in the year when you're playing. So first things first, guys, if you haven't already, go down below, smack the sub button. We're at like 7.5K now. Let's keep grinding out to 8K, so on and so forth. Then we got to go for the 10K so we can get to that 10K subscriber special. So if you're new to the channel, go drop a sub. You won't regret it. Three to four videos a day. I promise you guys, you enjoy the ride. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video just like this to stay up to date. Also, let's get this video to 250 likes. If you're a supporter and you watch my videos, the best way to show support is by dropping a like. And comment down below if I miss anything. I always love feedback. Definitely helps the channel tremendously as I learn how to properly engage you guys and get everything in here. So, first things first, guys. So, we are on Tuesday, which means house rules today. So, the first thing you guys want to do as soon as house rules opens up at 1030, you guys want to play those house rules. If you guys don't know what house rules is, house rules is a cool competitive slash kind of game mode where... You have certain objectives that you have to complete kind of like a gauntlet depending on how you view it and these give you opportunities to get free players so if week one was a free mutt superstar like pat mahomes and gilmore i obviously got gilmore second week was i believe a free nat elite you got to choose from any team and the third one was a free theme diamond so that is three free an 87 overall a 90 overall and an 87 to 90 overall again so those are very very useful player cards especially for no money spent teams so if you don't stay on top of this every week you're gonna fall behind with especially with no money spent teams where even me with a money spent team they're still very useful like gilmore is still gonna be one of the top cards in the game so obviously you want to be on top of this saves you tons of coins between gilmore my theme diamond my elite that was probably like 700k worth of cards that i got for free it's definitely 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 worth it guys and it's tuesday today so 10 30 when it opens up it will be always objective based so it's not like if you're not you might say like oh i don't have a good team so i can't compete for that stuff yes you can because it's not like you have to win in a row it's like 10 total wins you could play 100 times you just have to win 10 total times and house rules is a game where people are very impatient they quit very easily so make one good play bring out all the stops bring out your glitch plays your money plays your annoying defenses all you need to do is stop one drop and they'll probably quit that's how easy house rules can be i finished my 10 wins last week i believe in like an hour not even which is very very quick for 10 wins now they did mention something last week about 200 yards total so this week might be something like that where you literally just have to get more yards than your opponent which is there's so many strategies to go about that and if it is that i have a perfect video for coming for you guys if it is like that now second they are these new challenges that i actually just played mine right now i was so close i hope you guys played these at 10 before 10 30. team of the week solo challenges milestones right here team of the year token if you guys don't know what that is i explained it in my last video on how to get free team of the year players every year and every madden for the last few years there's been team of the year token so pretty much every single week they drop a team of the week solo challenge and it guarantees you one token now if you collect every token every week by the end of the year come like week 17 you get a set that comes out which is a free team of the year auctionable player now the way it works is you take all these tokens that you get every week you toss them into the set and you get one free team of the year player now the beauty of that is that these team of the year players usually start at like 500k so if you get all these tokens you typically get a free player between 400 and a million coins like last year tyra kills going for like a million coins Gurley was going for over a million coins so this is one of the best things you could be doing plus you usually have solos to get a free now one so you typically get up to two and if you guys did follow my method on the other um video i made if you guys make have five farm accounts and you do this on every account you can typically get up to five for free so you definitely want to be on top of these now if you do miss one it's not the end of the world i think because in years past at the end of the year after week 17 they typically drop like a solo challenge sequence where they let you do three makeups for any three weeks you missed but don't count on that because i can't promise you'll be there but if you did miss one week still keep getting all of them because there's a good chance they will have that but don't like say i don't need to do this week because it'll be extra at the end of the year don't don't take that chance get as many as done as you can even if you stop playing madden for a little bit we all know most people come back at a certain point in the year like team of the year so come back every week on a tuesday it takes you literally five minutes it starts at the end it starts pretty much in the fourth quarter 
third quarter four minutes you just chew clock it's the easiest thing you only need two stars you only have to play one of the solos for me it was one of the solos on easy and then you try to get the one rushing touchdown it's very very simple don't miss out on that because if you miss out on that you're gonna be you're gonna regret it later on in the year then there's the mutt 10 solos madden ultimate team 10 as you guys can see it's closed now so you can only play these i just got a hurricane notice for the uh madden servers going down okay so of course kicks me out so the madden 10 solos are pretty much the brand new limited time legends that usually come out on saturday but they come out on friday now so these are very important so now they're dropping them on fridays and these are limited time cards so if you guys don't know already we got um bo jackson week one we got patrick willis week two now why are these important because they have a solo challenge that releases every week at on friday at four and it lasts until monday at 10 30 a.m eastern so you guys want to play the solos too so these in sense um team of the weeks are very important because these are time time sensitive so if you play all of these on a weekly basis in 10 weeks so like the first week of november which is a lot quicker than team of the week you will be receiving one free fantasy pack of any limited time legend that releases from this so like i said there's a bo jackson a patrick willis a Deion sanders a calvin johnson jr a barry sanders in 10 weeks you get to pick one for free now i don't know how the overalls will work because i don't know if they're all going to be 91s or if they're going to progressively get higher because obviously later in the year come 10 weeks 91 won't be the highest overall anymore but we do not know yet but the point is that you do not want to miss these there's going to be nothing better in this game than one of these overpowered plays like bo jackson has a glitch so imagine if you can get a free one in 10 weeks i probably won't take bo jackson because i like there's gonna be so many running back options but if there's like a Deion sanders or a sean taylor or any of those kind of cool cards i, I think it's leaning towards third party legends in my opinion because i just say like bo jackson and willis are legends that we typically don't get on legend saturdays i mean maybe it'll be like a calvin johnson or one of the or like a jeremy shockey like pretty cool cards we don't typically get i think that'd be really cool but point being is that you guys want to be playing the team of the weeks so the team of the weeks will guarantee you a 96 to 99 overall team of the wheel 96 98 probably 95 98 team of the team of the year player for free if you do it on five accounts that's free five of them then if you do the madden ultimate team 10 solos you're gonna get one free limited time it's a fantasy pack so you pick the one you want and then on top of all that on top of all that you also have the house rules like that's released today so you probably get like 17 free nat players throughout the next 17 weeks for that so just imagine all the free things and all the no money spent possibilities if you stay in touch with all of this and these are time sensitive now the month 10 you can't miss any like you literally can't i don't think they're doing makeups for this it's literally you have to play one through week one through week 10 you cannot miss any so far i have both tokens you guys are definitely going to want to do that you don't want to miss out nothing will be more upsetting than come november you were lazy one week to not play it it takes these take literally like 10 minutes they're full games you just run shoe clock the whole game and you just keep going down every five yards and trust me it, it goes so quick do not miss out the new one drops this friday at approximately 4 p.m eastern time so you have until then so 10 30 monday eastern time so that alone should be enough time just go there play the quick solo you have to stay on top of house rules this and then you want to stay on top of team week now we're also getting to the point where mutt master is becoming more of a reality so definitely be in touch with your missions come down to uh mutt dedication and mutt master start checking where you're at because we're at a point where if you played the whole first month you're probably coming close so like my 35,000 yards are almost there i'm getting there my 700 a lot of these are done already 25,000 yards i'm getting there 350 touchdowns getting there 350 passes almost there 5,000 tackles getting there forced fumbles i'm 104 away not bad 500 sacks 141 away so we're at a point where literally you're getting close to these so you're gonna be able to start using pat tillman soon my pat tillman's i believe in 83 overall so i'm pretty close so once i get let's see once i get this soon so that's one two three four five six and then seven i'll probably get these in seven and that will give him seven overalls so let's see He'll be at a 90 overall, so he'll be startable in approximately like maybe two weeks for me. So that's pretty cool. So make sure you're staying on top of that. And if you're getting close, maybe start playing solo challenges to get them. People were asking how to get the fumbles. To get the fumbles, just go into a solo challenge, going easy, like on a full game, and just keep hit sticking them and then punting it back to them. Hit stick them, punt it back to them. Because on easy, they fumble right away. Like all you gotta do is hit stick them and they fumble. So you can easily get like five to six fumbles a game that way. 500 sacks, I don't have to do anything for that. I literally just play online and I have Lawrence Taylor and Von Miller. I get like seven sacks a game really not hard there 480 stars just play solo challenges although these do not count towards his overall below 90 so these aren't really the priority ones and 125 multiplayer wins obviously that's for his 95 month token as is this one so i'm not, i feel like you, you just have to do either one doesn't really matter so these are the ones that matter here so for 500 sacks like i said just playing online for me or just playing easy again but again cpus don't get sacked as easily because they know how to throw it away so i'd recommend you do this online against users 300 force fumbles again just play solos 500 ta 5,000 tackles it's just you got to play even playing solo challenges helps a ton. Playing online helps a ton. 350 interceptions. Again, that's the thing that, like, you, unless you have, like, an interception formation glitch like last year, you kind of just want to play online for these. 350 rushing touchdowns. Again, you can just play solo challenges. Go into a full game on easy. Just 
run the ball down the field 150 times. 25,000 rushing yards, same thing. Go into a solo challenge, we start in the one and just run it down all the way. And then for passing yards, you can play that level up challenge that we used early in the year to level up as quick as you can and just keep throwing 99 yard touchdowns. That's another way to just get through that pretty quickly. And then other than that, a lot of these should be done for you guys. If you haven't done these, just adjust your team overall. Guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys do remember everything I say. If you guys don't, here's a quick little checklist. Play your month 10 solos between Friday and Monday. Play your team of the week solos between Tuesday and typically the following Monday. But this week was a shortened week because obviously team of the week came out on a Friday, so shortened. But typically it's going to be like a week probably for the solos. And then don't forget your house rules that do drop in approximately. From the time you're seeing this video, house rules should be out already. But by the time I'm saying it right now, house rules should be out in about 50 minutes. Guys, that is about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, go down below. If this helped you, smack the sub button. Let's keep grinding out. You know, it's 8K and so on and so forth. Turn the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Let's get 250 likes in this video. If you made it this far, drop a like. It won't hurt you guys. It'll help me a ton. And comment down below if I missed anything that you guys think is important in one of these videos. That's it, guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace.